When it comes to iconic WWE rivalries, few have captured the imagination of fans like the one between Rated RKO and DX. These four men collided in a series of brutal matches. Rated RKO versus DX was a war for dominance in the squared circle, and in this video, we take a look at one of the most compelling tag team feuds in WWE history. Let's start with the reunion and formation of each duo. The reunion of DX in 2006 brought together two of the most influential wrestlers of the late 90s and early 2000s, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, under their iconic rebellious banner once again. Throughout early 2006, WWE began dropping subtle hints of a DX reunion. At WrestleMania 22, both Triple H and HBK independently performed the iconic DX crotch chop during their respective matches, sparking rumors that the two might be joining forces again. The official DX reunion happened on the June 12, 2006 episode of Raw. The build-up to this moment was orchestrated through a storyline involving Vince McMahon, who had been feuding with both Sean and Triple H separately. After weeks of tension and hints, Triple H finally turned against McMahon during a segment on Raw. As the Spirit Squad were beating up Triple H, his buddy Shawn Michaels came to his aid. After beating up a group of male cheerleaders, you know, the average Monday night back then, the duo stood together in the ring, declaring the return of DX. The crowd erupted as they performed their classic taunts. Following their reunion, DX immediately targeted Vince and Shane McMahon, who had aligned themselves with the Spirit Squad. DX's feud with the Spirit Squad was characterized by funny segments, where Triple H and Michaels humiliated their opponents with pranks, a hallmark of their original DX antics from the late 90s. The rivalry culminated in vengeance, where DX defeated the Spirit Squad in a 5-on-2 handicap match. This victory solidified DX's dominance and set the stage for their ongoing feud with the McMahons. The feud with Vince and Shane intensified over the summer. At SummerSlam, DX faced the McMahons in a highly anticipated match. Despite heavy interference from other wrestlers, DX managed to overcome the odds and secure a victory. The feud reached its peak at Unforgiven 2006, where DX teamed up to take on Vince, Shane, and The Big Show in a Hell in a Cell match. Not sure which match I'm talking about, it's the one where the two men who are now in charge of WWE shoved Vince McMahon's face up the Big Show's backside. You gotta love wrestling. DX emerged victorious, marking the end of their feud with the McMahons. Their 2006 reunion was going great. It was a mix of nostalgia with new and entertaining storylines, allowing a new generation of fans to experience the irreverence and charisma of the late 90s, until an alliance was formed with the sole purpose to end them. The formation of Rated RKO the iconic tag team consisting of Edge and Randy Orton was a pivotal moment in WWE history, bringing together two of the biggest villains in pro wrestling history. The origins of this team were rooted in both wrestlers' personal vendettas against DX and their shared desire to dominate the WWE landscape. In 2006, both Edge and Randy Orton were at critical points in their careers. Edge had firmly established himself as the Rated R Superstar, having won the WWE Championship twice and being one of the most hated wrestlers in the company. Orton, on the other hand, had experienced success as the legend killer, but his momentum had stalled somewhat after a series of losses and inconsistent booking. The seeds for Rated RKO were planted when both men found themselves at odds with DX. Triple H and Shawn Michaels had been dominating Raw, using their veteran status and fan popularity to mock and undermine other superstars. Both Edge and Orton felt that DX were standing in the way of their own ascensions to the top of WWE. On the October 9th, 2006 episode of Raw, Edge invited Orton onto his talk show segment, The Cutting Edge, where they bonded over their shared hatred for DX. Both had issues with DX due to their respective pasts. Edge for losing the WWE Championship to John Cena in a match that involved DX, and Orton for being the target of DX's antics and mind games. Edge argued that both he and Orton were being held back by the older generation. This conversation led to the formation of Rated RKO, with the duo accompanied by Lita, declaring war on DX. Rated RKO quickly made an impact, debuting as a team on an episode of ECW, where they defeated the duo of Kurt Angle and Rob Van Dam. Plus, they even had a new entrance theme that mashed both of their individual songs. This was followed by their first premium live event match as a team at Cyber Sunday 2006. This was the first clash between Team Rated RKO and DX, featuring none other than Eric Bischoff as a special guest referee. If you're wondering why Bischoff was the ref for this match, it's because the fans voted it that way, as that was the whole gimmick of the Cyber Sunday PLE. Cyber Sunday was unique for its interactive format, allowing fans to vote on various aspects of the matches. For this particular match, fans were asked to vote on the special guest referee, with the options being Mr. McMahon, Jonathan Coachman, 
and Eric Bischoff. The fans chose Bischoff, who was known for his controversial decisions, which immediately raised concerns about his impartiality. The bout was intense from the start, with both teams bringing their best to the ring. The presence of Bischoff as the referee added an extra layer of tension, as he had a history of bias against DX. Bischoff initially called it down the middle, but as the match progressed, he began to show favoritism towards Rated RKO. The turning point came when Edge accidentally speared Bischoff, knocking him out of the ring. This gave DX a brief advantage, during which they dominated Edge and Orton. However, when Bischoff recovered, he blatantly ignored the rules, allowing Rated RKO to use steel chairs against DX, leading to a victory for Edge and Orton. This marked the first loss for DX since the reunion, a crucial moment that solidified Rated RKO as a formidable force and an actual threat to DX and their Monday Night Dominance. For the first time since reuniting, Triple H and HPK had legit competition. They weren't facing male cheerleaders, jobbers, or Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch. They were facing the present and the future of the company. Two of the men who had been carrying the company for the past few years and would continue to do so for a long time. It was no longer time for jokes and childish humor. DX had to square up and step up. Obviously, following their victory, Rated RKO didn't shy away from boasting, claiming that their win signaled a new era on Raw, an era that's rated RKO. This match was crucial in the feud between the two teams and set the stage for further confrontations, with Rated RKO continuing to challenge the dominance of DX in the months that followed. November 13th, two weeks prior to their Survivor Series clash against DX, Rated RKO captured the World Tag Team Championships by defeating the legendary tag team of Ric Flair and Rowdy Roddy Piper. This victory further established their dominance and provided them with the platform to continue their feud with DX. That same night, we also witnessed one of the most memorable moments in their rivalry, when Rated RKO decided to imitate the old-timers. This moment, which took place on the November 13th episode of Raw, encapsulated the comedic aspect of their feud and demonstrated the lengths to which both teams would go to outdo each other. DX was known for their over-the-top, rebellious antics, often mocking their opponents with parodies and pranks. In an attempt to turn the tables, Rated RKO decided to use DX's own tactics against them by doing a parody of the legendary duo. Edge and Randy took to the ring dressed as Triple H and Sean, complete with wigs and costumes that exaggerated the most recognizable aspects of DX. Edge wore a long, fake nose to mimic Triple H, along with a leather jacket and water bottle, while Orton donned a cowboy hat and fake hair to represent Shawn Michaels. Edge and Orton exaggerated the characteristics of Triple H and Michaels, poking fun at Triple H's habit of spitting water during his entrance and his power walk down the ramp. They also mocked Michaels' religious faith, a frequent target during this era. Rated RKO didn't just stop at the physical appearance and mannerisms. They also imitated the way DX would interact with the audience and each other. Edge mimicking Triple H did an over-the-top version of the famous suck it catchphrase, while Orton mocked Michael's cross-eyed expressions and his exaggerated selling of moves. The parody was intended to be an insult to DX, suggesting that the team had become a caricature of their former selves, too focused on humor and not enough on serious wrestling. The segment billed heat for Rated RKO, portraying them as smarter and more serious than DX, who they depicted as a couple of over-the-hill jokers. While the segment was funny, it also highlighted the stark contrast between the two teams. DX came out afterwards to the ring to retaliate, continuing their pattern of back-and-forth pranks and attacks. The imitation was a way for Rated RKO to undermine DX's dominance in the psychological aspect of their feud, showing that they could play the same game, but with a more sinister edge. The Rated RKO parody of DX is one of the highlights of their rivalry, capturing the essence of the feud, a battle not just in the ring, but in entertainment and mind games. It added another layer to the rivalry, and this segment is an example of how WWE uses humor as a storytelling tool, blending comedy with the underlying tension between two of the top tag teams of the era. At Survivor Series 2006, both teams participated in a traditional 5-on-5 Survivor Series elimination match. Each team assembled a squad of three other men to join them. Team DX consisted of Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, and CM Punk, a formidable group of top-tier babyfaces. Team Rated RKO, on the other hand, included the bad guys, Edge, Randy Orton, Johnny Nitro, Gregory Helms, and Mike Knox. The match took place on November 26th in Philadelphia. Right from the outset, it became clear that DX had the crowd on their side, with a strong ovation, especially for CM Punk, who Triple H had dubbed the future of ECW. The match started with a bang, as Shawn Michaels quickly eliminated Mike Knox with a sweet chin music just 45 seconds into the match. 
Michaels then humorously asked his teammates who Knox was, playing into the narrative that Knox was a nobody compared to the star power of DX. Following this, CM Punk continued the dominance by eliminating Johnny Nitro with his signature Anaconda Vice submission hold. The Hardys then worked together to eliminate Gregory Helms, with Matt Hardy hitting the twist of fate, followed by Jeff Hardy's Swanton Bomb. This left Edge and Randy Orton in a five-on-two situation. Though rated RKO tried to retreat, they were dragged back into the ring by the Hardys. Edge was the next to go, falling to another sweet chin music for Michaels. Randy Orton, who had previously been the sole survivor in three consecutive Survivor Series matches, was the last man standing for his team. However, he was quickly overpowered and eliminated after a pedigree from Triple H, following another sweet chin music from the Showstopper. The match ended with Team DX achieving a clean sweep, with all five members surviving a rare and dominant outcome in Survivor Series history. The victory was a decisive moment in the feud, showcasing the overwhelming strength of DX. It was also payback for DX, who had suffered a controversial loss to Rated RKO at Cyber Sunday a month earlier. However, the night after losing their Survivor Series match, Team Rated RKO took the feud to a more aggressive level when they viciously attacked Ric Flair, a mentor and close friend of Triple H and Shawn Michaels on Raw. The Concerto, was a brutal move involving two steel chairs, and it became a part of the rivalry. This move was popularized by Edge during his tag team days with Christian, but gained renewed prominence during their feud with DX. Rated RKU used the concerto to viciously assault Ric Flair, a close ally of DX, which intensified the feud leading into the New Year's Revolution event in January 7, 2007. This brutal attack, along with others using the concerto, cemented Rated RKO as one of the most despised teams in WWE at the time. The concerto was used not only to inflict physical damage, but also to psychologically torment their opponents, especially DX. It underscored the violent and ruthless nature of Rated RKO's tactics, contrasting sharply with DX's more playful and rebellious style. This contrast fueled the animosity between the teams, making their rivalry the most intense in WWE during that period. This use of the concerto in their feud with DX was a key element that highlighted Rated RKO's willingness to go to any lengths to dominate their opponents. This attack to Ric Flair led to a heated match at New Year's Revolution, where DX sought revenge, and it was the culmination of this rivalry, with the World Tag Team Championships up for grabs. The match was one of the most intense and brutal encounters in WWE's tag team history. The anticipation was high as the two teams entered the ring, with rated RKO vowing to put an end to DX once and for all. The match quickly devolved into a chaotic and bloody brawl. Both teams were known for their aggressive styles, but this encounter pushed them to their limits. Early in the match, Triple H famously tore his quad, but continued to wrestle because that's how damn tough the game is. The fact that he continued to fight also underscored the brutality and intensity of the rivalry. Despite Triple H's injury, DX managed to take control of the match using a variety of weapons, including steel chairs. The match saw both Edge and Randy Orton suffer severe beatings, with both men breeding profusely by the end. The ferocity of DX was on full display as they tried to get revenge for the months of torment inflicted by Rated RKO. The match ended in a no contest due to the overwhelming violence and chaos that unfolded. Well, at least on screen. The real reason why it ended as a no contest was due to Triple H's injury. On screen, however, the referee was inadvertently caught in the crossfire and was unable to maintain control, leading to the official decision. This unexpected injury effectively ended their brutal rivalry, as Triple H had to take them off for surgery and rehabilitation, being sidelined for months. Their final bout remains one of the most brutal tag team matches in WWE history. The night after New Year's Revolution, Randy and Edge came out looking like they had just been through hell in a great segment that really sold everyone on how brutal their rivalry against DX had been. Following Triple H's injury, Edge and Randy Orton continued as a team briefly but eventually disbanded with both pursuing individual careers. Their feud with DX, however, remains a memorable chapter. The rivalry was marked by the involvement of WWE's biggest stars making it one of the most significant feuds in WWE during the mid-2000s. With Triple H sidelined, Shawn Michaels had to carry the feud against Team Rated RKO on his own. Despite the odds, Michaels rose to the challenge, demonstrating his legendary resilience. His rivalry with Edge and Orton escalated, leading to numerous intense handicap matches on WWE television. Michaels found himself in high-stakes situations regularly. On January 29th, just a few weeks after New Year's Revolution, Michaels teamed up with John Cena to face Rated RKO for the World Tag Team Championship. In an unexpected turn, Michaels and Cena won the titles, adding a new layer to the storyline. 
This victory allowed Michaels to remain a prominent figure on Raw, even as he pursued a solo agenda against Rated RKO. Rated RKO's momentum started to diminish after losing the tag titles to Michaels and Cena. The team's losses mounted, and their partnership began to fracture under the pressure of their inability to recapture the titles. Rated RKO eventually disbanded, with Edge and Orton pursuing successful solo careers. Edge went on to win the Money in the Bank contract, leading to a major World Heavyweight Championship victory, while Orton solidified his status as a top heel in WWE. Despite their relatively short run, Rated RKO left a lasting legacy as one of the most impactful heel tag teams of the era. Their feud with DX remains one of the most memorable storylines of the mid-2000s, showcasing the charisma and talent of Edge and Orton. From the formation of Rated RKO as the ultimate rivals of D-Generation X to the brutal matches that followed, this rivalry delivered some of the most intense moments of the ruthless aggression era. The clash between these two iconic teams wasn't just about titles or bragging rights. It was a clash of generations. Both teams left an indelible mark on WWE, and the rivalry is a prime example of how storylines can have both humor and dramatic elements. And if you think DX had intense rivalries as a tag team, Watch the documentary we did on the rivalry between Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels next. See you there.